time to quit. Anyway, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Do you guys know one of those people who like to give unsolicited advice? You know, you know, people who give unsolicited advice but never apply them to themselves. <laughs> I have a buddy of mine, like he's the most single person that I've met in my life. Like he, he's more single than a table for one. Like it is. <laughs> like this dude, uh, last time he had sex, Corona was just a beer. Like it's. <laughs> You guys are cute. Are you fucking? <laughs> no, I mean, not, not now, like, like, you know, on your free time and stuff like that. So, when you're here together? <laughs> okay, so this is too uncomfortable, okay? I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're together? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like I was, uh, my heart was starting to sweat. Like, uh, no, no. Yeah, no, so how long have you guys been together? Uh, three years and a half. Three years and a half? Oh, that's nice. So you're definitely not fucking, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah I, I've been there, man. It's like birthdays, maybe job promotions, and that's it. Uh, uh... 14 years together, that's amazing. So that means you're off the common time, you know? Yeah? Ooh, that means I'm not very happy. You, you're still on the condom? Yeah. Yeah, my, my ex and I, she, she didn't like the condom because she said uh, having sex with a condom is kind of like having sex with a smaller, uh, more anxious and less efficient dildo. <laughs> yeah, but we're not together anymore. <laughs> Shocker. I mean, yeah. I kind of knew we were going to break up. Actually, there are three reasons that I knew we were gonna not like, going to last forever. The first one is uh, I am a Capricorn. And, uh, and if you know anything about the horoscope, you know that a Capricorn is not compatible with a psychopath. <laughs> and the second one is like, I have sort of a sense of humor. I mean, I'm doing stand-up comedy, right? And like, she's German. <laughs> We don't like to laugh so much. Um, and, and the last, like a clear sign of them all, the one that told me, okay, this relationship is not going to last forever, is when she told me it was not going to last forever. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I hate condoms, because if I can be honest, like I'm not the smoothest in bed. Like I'm a, like a 90s uh, video game character. Like I have four moves and that's it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and just like the video game character, I only use two, actually. <laughs> it, it's, it's very, very uncomfortable. And, uh, yeah, and, and the, the, the thing is, like, condoms, like, the reason I hate them is because they break every small possibility of me being sexy. Because you'll be there with the girl, you know, doing the, your thing, and, and then she's like, oh, you have a condom. Like, yeah, sure, I'll open it. And, one thing, like, why do, like, cheese have an easy opener and condoms feel like opening like a, it's like, it's so difficult to open these things, like, you will start on the, on the side and it's not gonna work, you use your mouth and at the end you're like, spitting it out, like, what's going on with condoms? It's so complicated and like, they will break any mood that's going on and they'll, they'll break my dick instantly too. Because my dick, in the beginning, will look like an SS soldier, it will just be like hard as a rock. And by the time like I've opened the condom, it looks like um, one of these like figurines outside the cordial cordial ships in movies. You know, like it's just <laughs> it's it's very uncomfortable, guys. It's, and then you have to try to put on the condom on like a half limp dick. Have you tried like that's very yeah, it's very graphic, but it's it's true. And then you kind of have to like try to stroke it uncomfortably, like try to make eye contact, and, like try to put it on, and, and then. Eventually, you, you'll manage, right? You'll put it on, it, it'll work out, right? And then you can like get ready for the action. Nope. Because, at least with my ex, it was always she was always gonna do doggy style because she she felt too uncomfortable looking me trying to do that, obviously. But but like she called it doggy style, but it, for me it was more like an alley cat, like being scared. But she would just like, do this thing, like what am I supposed like? Her ass was going downwards, like she was just going like, and it, like, like that's that's not doggy style. Like, have, have she? I, I'm, I'm being like super obsessed. Like, have, have you tried yoga? Like downward dog. Like, like the ass has to go up. Like, like I'm taller than you. What's going on here? Like, do, do I look like a like an Olympic gymnast? I have to like power squat into it. Like, it's 
it's so uncomfortable. And then eventually everything will work out, right? I'll be there, we'll do our thing. But because like she's with, in her like alley cat position and I'm like power launching there, my legs will just start shaking, you know, and I'll just be there trying to do my thing. So yeah, I hate condoms. <laughs> I decided to to go to the gym and I tried out CrossFit. I don't know if you guys are familiar with CrossFit, but basically, yeah, ooh, this is gonna be rough. Uh, basically, what it is is dudes like buff dudes with repressed feelings playing with ropes. <laughs> all the, the things that they do is just basically this. <laughs> but on the inside, they're like, I'm crying watching you guys sparkling. Then we're like, oh, this actually might work, so you want to try it yourself? Can I try it? They're like, no, 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 not both are. Let start. Who are you trying to impress? Like, Shakira is not here. It's, uh, yeah, so, stop going to CrossFit, obviously. Um, and I decided to go to the gym. And I don't know if you guys know this, but bald dudes run the gym. Like, if you're bald, you have a gym membership. I don't care what you're saying. Are there any bald dudes here, actually? No, no, they're at the gym, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothesis confirmed. Um, but it's all good now. I have, I have actually a new girlfriend. We recently moved in together. Woo, yeah, don't, don't get too excited. She's French, so it's uh, <laughs> not so good. But like from living uh, together and living by myself, nothing exchanged has changed except now there's just hair everywhere. <laughs> Do you guys know that? Like. Women lose their hair like crazy. I confronted her, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Are you balding? Like, <laughs> And she was like, no, 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 it's very normal. Women lose their hair. It's, it's normal? What are you, Labradoodle? <laughs> and because and so, and, that's the thing, guys. Like, if a guy in his 20s lose hair in those quantities, he invests all his money like hair repair products. That's 100%. Because, and let's be honest here, if you're balding, just get rid of it because like you're not fooling anybody because a balding guy trying to like hide it is kind of like communism if you think about it right because no matter how you put it it's never gonna work that's one of my favorite jokes because it's like, it divides the room, especially if they're Russians. <laughs> Do we have any Russians here? Good. <laughs> I'm safe for tonight. <laughs> a little bit about myself, I am a Capricorn, which, yeah, if you know anything about uh, the horoscope, you know that Capricorn is born in January, and uh, that, that's about it. And, and, and like my date of birth and like the alignment of the stars has nothing to do with my shitty personality. That's uh, that's uh, my dad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad and I have a, a bit of weird relationship because he raised me as a, as a single father. And I don't know if you know this, guys, but like when you have a single parent, they tend to want to like take over both roles. And my dad, he went all in for it. And how do I put this? Sucking on a hairy nipple is not fun. <laughs> There's zero benefits, there's like no milk in all the time. It's really not fun. And, but uh, like, these fears are very strange, right? Like, especially as a kid, we have like common fears, like the fear of spiders, uh, fear of the darkness, fear of seeing our dad's dick for the first time. <laughs> terrifying. It was my first time. Uh, so it's 99, December, summer. The winter of that was very dark, but you know. But then there's some irrational fears, right? Like, um, when I was a kid, and this is 100% true, I was terrified of taxes. <laughs> I was eight years old, taxes. I was terrified. I thought, if one day I'm gonna go to prison, it's gonna be because of tax evasion or something like that. <laughs> and eventually, <laughs> and eventually, my fear became a reality. Because by the time I was 19, I was actually arrested for possession of cocaine. <laughs> Pay taxes until that point, so I think it's <laughs> <laughs> That's actually my time, guys. Have a good night. Woo!